Candace here, your revenue growth strategist, always teaching you tax and financial strategies on how to grow your revenue without using your labor. So I'm excited to share with you today um, some great, great stuff. But before I jump in, make sure we do one thing. Um, subscribe right there, that little button right there, click that, because I'm always giving you great tips, great information, um, and I do it for fun because it's, it's I love what I do, right? Now, the second thing I'm gonna do um, after you subscribe, go ahead and do that. Um, I'm gonna read this tax form to you. It's by, I think his name's Charlie Reese. Did a really great job. He, he's really making fun of the tax system, but he has a valid point that's gonna be going right into my video for today. So I'm gonna read it to you. His tax form says, tax his land, tax his bed, tax the table at which he's fed. Tax his tractor, tax his mule, teach him taxes are the rule. Tax his work, tax his pay. He works for peanuts anyway. Now, I don't know if I like that, right? I don't know how I feel about that. But anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> tax his work, tax his pay. Uh, he works for peanuts anyway, got that. Tax his cow, tax his goat, tax his pants, tax his coat. Mm. Tax his ties, tax his shirt, tax his work, tax his dirt. We pay tax on all these things, right? Think about that. Uh, tax his cigars, tax his beers, tax his cries, tax his tears, tax his car, tax his gas, find other ways to tax his, oh, okay, I'll stop right there, right? <laughs> it's really good, it's really good. It goes right into the conversation that we're gonna have today, which is about sales and use tax. Now he makes fun of the tax law, but listen, I'm not here to debate the rules, that's not my job. I'm just gonna make sure that you understand um, the rules of the game and how these things should be played, where you should, what you should be doing and how to do it legally, ethically, and morally, okay? That's my goal, so let's get into it. Now, in this video, I want to share with you how as a business owner, you are to pay the sales and use tax on items that you sell. Now, this is this is something that has been kind of up and down with people for a really long time, so I just want to kind of give some clarity on some areas. Now, not every business has to pay sales and use tax. What I'll do is I'll tell you to get with your state income tax departments and they'll let you know in your sales and use departments with the in, with your state they'll let you know if you qualify to pay sales and use tax first thing but what is sales and use tax let's talk about that so the sales and use tax is basically when you have a product you charge a tax on that product here we go and normally that tax is passed to the consumer, which is the person who bought the product, right? So when we go to the store, we buy a, um, let's say we buy an item, the item's $10. Well, we may pay $10.95 because of the tax that's attached to that $10. Well, guess what? I had a client <laughs> and he said, Candace, I've been, um, you know, selling my t-shirts and everything's been great. It's wonderful and, and all that, right? I'm making good money and things are great, but I got this letter and I don't really understand what they're talking about in this letter. And I was like, you got a letter, what did it say? So it was from the sales and use department of his actual state that said, hey, you're selling these items and you should be paying us sales and use tax on those items. So you need to be paying us the sales tax that you receive. And he's like, well, Candace, I, I didn't know anything about that. Well, let's just be clear that because you didn't know does not mean you're exempt from the law. Ignorance is not bliss, especially when it comes to taxes, okay? So let's talk about what that looks like. So he said, okay, Candace, uh, what do I need to do? Listen, it's, it's a simple process. The money you charge is yours. The money that's charged from the tax, the sales tax portion, belongs to the state that you live in. It's called, they, they call it sales and use tax. It's a department, a whole department of its own. And you're supposed to send over, and normally this happens every month, um, and you do it in the rears, but we'll teach you about that later. This happens every month, okay? Every month, you tally up all of your sales and how much the actual sales tax was, and they will they give you these returns that you do, it's a whole process, right? But let me tell you the important part. You gotta send that money to the government, to the state, okay? To your state government, to your governing body, whoever that is, that sales tax amount does not stay with you. It's not extra money, okay? The money goes to your state. So real quick, you bought a t-shirt, the t-shirt costs $10, there's a 9.5% sales tax on that 10. Well, guess what? You pay $10.95 for the shirt. Guess what? 
the ten dollars stays with you and at the end of the month you send that sales tax portion which is the 95 cents to the government simple you didn't use the money you didn't pay the money it's not yours it's theirs now that is a tax deduction at the at the end of the year because you get to write that stuff off but here we go just making sure we're clear on how the process works now why is this important for you is because if you don't they're going to come back and say hey you didn't pay us and they want their money of course so they say in tax everything if you have tangible products most times those are the easiest you know for a fact that you're supposed to pay sales and use tax and send it to your state but if you're not sure get with a great tax professional and they'll be able to assist you uh, like performance tax group we'd love to as well as if you if you don't want to um, do that contact the state let them know hey I'm I'm, I'm not gonna tell you to condemn yourself I'm not gonna be the person to do that that's why you need to contact somebody to help you but you can ask them hey with this type of business does this type of business pay sales and use tax they'll probably give you this long uh, article and all these pages of documents and it'll say hey find yourself here but normally the people are very helpful and they'll be able to help you out so what is my point Taxes are on almost everything, almost well, just about everything. And you have to know that as a business owner, you have to pay in those taxes, those sales tax from your business perspective, okay? Very important, I hope that this is helpful. Um, if you need assistance, what should you do? You should contact us at Performance Tax Group um, or just get with me, right? I'm gonna help you out. Phone number is 501-613-7423 or you can go to our website at performancetaxgroup.com. But one thing I want you to remember is to sit there, hit that button right there and subscribe. Well, we would love to assist you with all your needs, tax and financial. And as we always say, We'll see each and every one of you at the top. We hope this video was helpful. We'll talk to you soon.